Hey everyone and welcome back to Days Gone. On this video, we're doing the mission, this one's on me. So, we've been told to head over to Doc Jimenez. At Wizard Island, you can see it right here. And uh, it's far enough where I will take the bike. Here we are. Go, go. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. Huh? And the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter. Anymore. All right, and that one was a real quick one. Doc Jimenez dead. I was not expecting that. That's terrible. All right, so we got 4,000 experience for that. Wizard Island Trust goes up 1,000. And we have storyline updates. So Taylor, huh? I also wouldn't have expected that. All right, so let's look at those storyline updates. I didn't get a good look at which ones they were, actually. We'll figure it out, though. There were three of them. Let's see. An officer and a gentleman. Should be one of them. Yep, this one's on me. Corey took responsibility for assigning Taylor to guard the infirmary. But it's not on Corey. It's on me. I knew, or at least I suspected, that Taylor was a junkie. He was riding out alone all that time to hunt marauders. He was looking for connections. And now, Doc Jimenez is dead. How did he survive? Damn it. I should have known better. When I last saw Taylor, he told me that Doc had him on Oxy for the pain. If Taylor was an addict, back in the day, giving him Oxy, well, that would be like pouring gasoline on a fire, wouldn't it? I should have seen it. Now Taylor's going to hang, and there's nothing I can do about it. And then the last one... Might be Lawn Disorder. Uh, no. In that case, a good soldier. The colonel had the right idea, keeping the dock on lockdown but the wrong guard assigned. That's what it always came down to, back in the day, when I was in the army. Personnel assignments. You lived or died by the quality of your NCOs, your chain of command, the other men in your unit. Could you count on them? If not, you were in trouble before you ever hit, or before you ever hit the shit. All right, well, Taylor has made a bad, bad mistake. Not sure what's going to come of that. So anyways, um, let's go over to the weapon merchant. And there is a weapon that you guys have been wanting me to buy. I don't know if it's available yet, but let's go see. Some sort of like Tommy gun or something like that. Corporal St. John. Sergeant, how's it going? All right, weapons. Might have been this one, the Chicago Chopper. I guess it is better than mine. Well, in that case, we just might have to buy it. Was it locked before? Because I don't understand why I would have bought this instead of that. Because this seems better in every way. Yeah, I don't know, but I'm going to assume it was locked. It is no longer locked, so we'll get it. The Chicago Chopper. With the fast fire rate and huge ammo capacity, this gun can take a lot of enemies down. Better at close range. Okay. Now that's a gun. Okay, and do we have it equipped? Huh? Ah, okay. Yes, we have it equipped. Alright, good. 
See ya, Corporal. Okay, and with that, we're all done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.